Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, I'll briefly explain how the load test of a lifeboat is carried out. And also in this video, I will describe how a lifeboat is safely launched and recovered and how the hook mechanism works. And before I start the video, I must say that you should refer the ship specific manual which may be different from the instructions which I share here. The design of your ship's lifeboat hooks may be different. But in this video, you'll understand the basic concept on which all these hooks are designed. So let's get started. So starting with the launching procedure. As you're all aware, the launching procedures are always marked on the ship near to the lifeboat. So in case of emergency, you must go through the procedure each and every point as per your ship specification, which is usually similar to putting the drain plug on inside the lifeboat, confirming that the painter has been rigged, confirming that the battery charger has been removed, remove the hover pin and few other points and you're good to go. And after you have gone through all these checks, all you need to do is lift the brake of the winch and your lifeboat davit will start going down and once your davits are completely out your lifeboat will start lowering automatically as the brake is open for safety you must try to do it as slowly as possible but it should be continuous this continuity is important because if you keep on putting the brakes on and off the lifeboat may start swinging out of control once the lifeboat is out of the sight of the person operating the brake, it is important that other person standing on the side is guiding him when the lifeboat is touching the water. So once the boat is waterborne, the people inside the boat will operate the lever to release the hooks. So far, this is the easy part. And before I move on to the next part of recovering it, it is important that you understand how the hooks are operated so you have to understand that to release the hooks all you really need to do is just pull this lever back if you're able to pull this lever back your hooks will automatically release that is the easy part now the question is why is it so easy it shouldn't be because if something so critical is so easy it could be dangerous and you are right to prevent this from happening to prevent any accidental opening there are two safety arrangements which are in place first is the obvious one this handle has a safety pin so to operate this handle directly you have the safety pin which you need to remove but what if someone makes a mistake of thinking that this lever operates something else so to prevent that from happening there is something called a hydrostatic interlock hydrostatic interlock basically is that until your lifeboat is waterborne this handle cannot be pulled back unless it is manually overridden which is your on load release mechanism i will discuss these two mechanism once i finish the recovery part so in normal situation you have already put your lifeboat in the water because your hydrostatic lever has operated automatically into the red zone and once it is in the red zone you are free to operate the lever just by pulling out the safety pin and that's exactly what you do and your easy part is over now how to recover it and what is the mistake that people very commonly make and the mistake is they do not reset the hook immediately what I have sometimes seen that the person who is operating the lever trying to reset it he waits for the moment till the people who are standing forward and aft they bring the suspension link in place and they put the hooks in place along with the suspension link and then once he receives the confirmation from both forward and aft he operates the lever and puts it in the lock position now why is this wrong i'll explain you in a minute this is a picture of lifeboat which is in a secured position on the board a ship so my question to you is right now if my suspension hooks of the david are free you know it's slack is there anything that will stop me if I just move the safety latch? And the answer is no. All I have to do in this position is make sure that my hooks are already locked. And as soon as I get hold of my suspension links, 
I put it inside. And the only precaution that I need to take, especially during the bad weather, is ensure that this suspension link is put together in forward and aft. Because if the load of the complete board comes on any one of the suspension link, it may break the hook mechanism or it may weaken it. That is the only precaution. Otherwise, as soon as you release the hook, first thing you must do is you reset them in the same lock position and check that your cam has taken the right position, your hooks are locked and then once you have finished maneuvering in the water, lifeboat is brought back, you just put the suspension link in. That's it. And this is where many people go wrong because they wait until the suspension links are inside, then they try to lock it. The locking is not done properly because there was certain amount of load on the link and in the middle of this recovery, when they're heaving the lifeboat, sometimes the hook releases and there are major accidents because of that. Here is a simple procedure that you may carry with yourself by taking a screenshot. So resetting procedure clearly says that you lift the hooks, then you swing the reset lever simultaneously, then confirm the hooks are reset, then you insert the safety pin, which is happening inside the lifeboat, and fifth step is that you fit the suspension links in the hooks. That is the fifth step. So complete resetting, inserting the pin is done prior to bringing the suspension link in. And then you can hoist the lifeboat just clear above the water level, confirm that the reset is complete, and also check that the hydrostatic interlock is back in position. And a practice that I follow on my ship is I lift the boat by about one meter or two meter. Then I quickly open the brake, let the lifeboat go on brake for about one meter and then quickly put the brake on, ensuring that the hooks are actually tight. So if they have to release or if they have to fail, that is actually the right time, just one meter above water level. So once this test is complete and everything seems normal, only then I give orders to lift the boat completely up. Now that I've talked about the practical part, let me talk about the examination part. A very common question is, what is offload release system and what is onload release system? As from the term itself, you can understand that there is something which is on load and there is something off load. So what is normally on load? See, normally the load is on the hooks. This is what they're talking about. So the lifeboat can be released by two methods. One is offload release system, which is your usual one. You put the lifeboat waterborne and you know what happens after the lifeboat is waterborne. There is no more any load on the hooks. You can simply pull the lever and your hooks will be released. The normal method is called the offload release system, the left one in your diagram, which clearly says that pull out the safety pin, pull the release handle, and your release operation is completed. However, in case of onload release mechanism, there are additional steps of manually overriding the hydrostatic interlock. And why would someone release themselves maybe one meter above the water level? And the answer is that in case of an emergency during a bad weather, if you're abandoning a ship, you don't want this suspension link hitting on the boat and breaking the boat and taking it side to side. So what you do is before the lifeboat touches the water, you just release the hooks and then maneuver it away from the ship so that the lifeboat stays safe. And the method is almost same except for step two and step three, which is removing the hydrostatic interlock cover, lift up the hydrostatic interlock lever and hold it and then you pull the release handle and your release operation is completed. And I must say that onload release mechanism is only for emergencies, only in conditions where it has been confirmed and properly assessed that this is the only way of safely escaping. Now finally, let me come to the part of load test. Load test of a lifeboat is carried five yearly as per SOLAS Chapter 3, Regulation 20 and MSC Circular 402, Session 96. What is required in this five yearly test is that 1.1 times the safe working load of a lifeboat is put on it 
then with this complete weight lifeboat is lowered and then the lifeboat is lowered at a very good speed and immediately a brake is put on then the on load release gear is tested and that is done by actually releasing the lifeboat on load into the water once all these tests have been completed all the equipments all the launching gears appliances davits everything connected to it is visually inspected for any deformation before and after the test just remember basically it's 1.1 times the maximum safe working load of the lifeboat now how this load is added on the lifeboat this is normally done by putting sandbags like in this case as per the attached certificate or using a balloon which can carry about half a ton of water like what is shown in this video i hope this was a useful video for you if you have any suggestion comments or feedback please do write down below all the best for your exams and as always thank you for watching